Dorothy Masuka, she died on Saturday last week at the age of 83 following complications related to hypertension after suffering a mild stroke last year. I shall be laid to rest tomorrow at West Park Cemetery here in Johannesburg. Earlier this week, our show producer Tapelo Moela spoke to the late icon's best friend, Abigail Kobeka. She started by asking her how she's dealing with the loss, and this is what she said. Obviously, I'm shattered. I'm sad. I'm morose. You know, what's he losing a loved one? is very difficult to explain because it's it's one feeling you cannot explain express it's there you are just being drained you are just being drained your brain carry it's going to come out through your ears because we were very closely Dorothy you know she was a sister a mother a friend and uh, she was just, she was everything to me, you know. While Dorothy Masuku's name is synonymous with timeless classic, and at the mention of her name, a smooth voice comes to mind. It is a life that tells the story of a strong, perseverant woman. The Magumet, the hit maker who was besties with people like Miriam Makeba and Abigail Kubega, was always a star. I, before, I, be, I knew of her because I was very young. I'm, I'm the youngest of the Makeba, Dor Dorothy, Dolly generation, you know. I'm the youngest of, 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 of the three, the Tandy, all those. But I was, I was fortunate because I, I happened to rub shoulders with them. I happened to, to live with them. I happened to, to work with them. So at that tender age, so and at as, as in so much so that we are, we are equals. The, the Buena, they didn't treat me like a young star, a young, a young star, you know, a young budding singer. They treated me like I was one of them. What is it, or what stood out from her voice that, that made her so special? I mean, during that era, when I think back, you just mentioned mm. it was the time of Miriam Makeba, mm. Mam Tandi Clausen, and the list goes on. What was it about her voice that stood out for you? You know, the city when doing shows, performing, you know, and because sometimes when I go on first and then I introduce, I introduce her, you know, or any other artist, artist that has to come after me. And I always used to say the voice of Africa, Udorothy has had the voice of, of Africa, pure. Umagret Singane to me was second to Dorothy Masuku, you know. She had that voice. Eliga, Eliga, Eliga Margaret was strong, uh, piercing, and Dorothy's was f f uh, uh, had sa sadness, you know, sadness and 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 uh, and uh, and, uh, and the clear and, and very clear, very soulful. I can say, and I think the reason being that Dorothy na yebe no no. No, 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 no more, yeah, no more, and, and things. She was a very spiritual woman. She created magic with her voice and words, and her songs always managed to hit home because they came from a special place. She lived up to this until the very last moment. When she, she was attacked this, uh, by this stroke, we were doing a show at the Civic Theatre. I was the one to notice, which, you know, there's something not right with her and uh, because she was her speech was different and her face was like you know like and her mouth started twisting i said Ntuanas, we used to call each other Ntuanas. Ntuanas, what's wrong with you I said no nothing wrong and then i noticed ngachele producer uh, uh, let's call a doctor oh dorothy is not is not well and the community it was the beginning of, of, of the attack. Whether she was infusing happy jazz vibes into her songs or singing sweet mellow love songs, Dorothy made timeless music that will keep her name alive. And what would you say 
were your fondest memories while you guys were together? You traveled together, you performed together, you did so many things together. What are some of the memories? Take us through some of those. Yeah, she was a control freak. She used to control me. <laughs> she was very cheeky. She was very firm. In fact, she was firm, you know, being a Virgo. You know, if you know how Virgos are, then that was Dorothy Masuku. She was a Virgo in the true sense. Very hard, hard, a hard nut to crack. But beautiful, you know, and, and loving. And uh, very serious about life. Strict as a mother, as a friend, as a go go, and uh, as a human being. That was Dorothy. I'll, I'll, I'll miss her. Kakulu, you know, Kakulu, Kakulu. <laughs>